it is getting too late. It is, it is high time for, for Ghana to Ghana and other countries to hasten the process of ensuring that this seed gets into the hands of their farmers for them to be able to uh, unlock the benefit there is in this new variety. It is uh, highly beneficial, not only in terms of pro productivity, but it reduces the use of harmful insecticides in our environment. And therefore, they should quickly, quickly hasten to complete this process. All the evidences are there, you know, with the evidences they have and what, and they should use Nigeria as you know, um, as an example, as a model, look at us as a model, how we made it uh, to where we are today. You also need courage to be able to take the right decision without being afraid. Because from what is going on in Africa, particularly in the West African sub-region, there are lots of intimidation on the part of the anti-GM groups. But I think once you have the knowledge and you have the you have the knowledge and also have the courage, you can take your decision and uh, particularly when you have uh, scientific evidence to make your decision. For uh, GMO crops, you need to get the environmental release permit. And our dossier has been uh, ready. It, was, it is with the National Biosafety Agency Authority of Ghana. So we are waiting for uh, the time when you will get the environmental release permits. In Burkina, before the end of this year, we may apply for environmental release too.